Oh, shalom, 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 chabarim, shalom, Rastafari. Ani, ani, who? Yadon. This is Ras Ayadonis Tafari. Loj, Loj, Lion of Judah. Yeah, Yehuda Moan Bessa Society of His Majesty, right here. Here, here, on also Loj Social. Check out the links and descriptions. Yes, I. Also, the podcast. Getting ready for tonight's podcast. So just a couple of brief words here. Because in going over some of the audibles that we share on the podcast regarding the Torah readings and feedings, we have this 18th sabbatical study here for this Shabbat Strong that's known as Mishpatim. Mishpatim, Mishpatim. Some might enunciate it as Mishpatim, Mishpatim, but Mishpatim from Shafat. You've probably heard of the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Well, the Shafat there. Yaho, Yaho, Yao, Jaz, Shafat, Jaz, Judgment. So here we have the judgments, Ha Mishpatim. Now we have an audible where we go into a little more of a study just to bring out this particular point right here because there's misconceptions. There are misconceptions concerning what's called the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. Now, Ten Commandments is like a Western Gentile euphemism. So in the West, we will say like the Ten Commandments. But in the scripts, in the Hebrew, also in the Royal Amharic, in the authorized, revised Amharic Bible of Gurmawi Nagus and Neges, of Kedamawi Haile Selassie, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, we have it as the Asertun Kalat. Asertun, Aser, Aser. In the Hebrew, we say Aseret, Aseret, Aseret Hadibarim. Aseret Hadibarim are the Ten Esaret HaDebarim, literally Debarim. Now the fifth book of Moshe is known as Debarim, Debarim, often referred to as Deuteronomy. Now Deuteronomy means a repetition, Deuteronomos, the repetition of the law. Now in Deuteronomy, we find the phrase Mishnah HaTorah, Mishnah, like the Mishnah. Mishnah in the fifth book means like from the Shana to repeat, to redouble as the principle that you know, um, repetition in education, repetition. So going over this Torah reading and feeding, right? The repetition, going over it again, the sense of study, right? The sense of study or the repetition. Literally, we say repetition, the Mishnah Torah. So the coin of Greek, the Septuagint, those 70 or so, right? Yehudi, Yehudim, right? That translated the Torah, Right into from the Hebrew into the Koina Copto Greek, right? Therefore, influencing the Greek, right? Some say Hebrew is Greek, but really the Koina Greek is heavily influenced by the Hebrew mind, right? So, therefore, the fifth book was called the Mishnah HaTorah, right? And the Mishnah HaTorah brings out the sense and translation of Deuteronomy, but we refer to the book, the fifth book, as Debarim. Now, Debarim. Debari means words. Check debari, debar, 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 word, and also to speak, but in the form of debari means words. Modern Yehudi, modern Yehudim, modern Jews would say in the modern Hebrew, devari, devari, but in the ancient pointing, debari, debari. So the words, the words. So here, the 10 words. Both in the Masoretic Hebrew, Esaret HaDebarim, Esaret from Aser, Eser, Eser, 10. In the Royal Amharic, we say Aser, Aser, Aser Tun, Aser Tun, the 10, Kalat, Kalat, Kalat means words. Now, interesting about Kalat is from Kal. Kal is related to Kol, Kol. Kol in the Hebrew is the voice, right? The voice or the sound. We say word, sound, and power. Word, sound, and power. So there's some misconceptions. Just to address a few of the misconceptions regarding what is referred to as the Ten Commandments. So often in the West, the Western Gentile world, Anglo-American in this system, in um, WASP Christianity or through WASP Christianity, White Anglo-Saxon Protestant Christianity. We can't say so much even about so-called even the, you know, the Europeans or we say white Jews or in Judaism because if you're Torah observant, and you read the Hebrew, then you see this for yourself, right? So for those who things have got lost in translation, right, in the English, and even in certain areas purposely mistranslated coming down to us in this Western whitewashed Gentile language, Anglo-American language, 
check check so right here we have an audio uh, audible all right let's let's look at this audible right here just to bring out the full of full of the title right here so it's concerning this torah reading and feeding mishpatim now refer to it as shabbat mishpatim sabbath judgments right send bet saratu in the royal mark saratu right we'll touch on that but from low degrees to high degrees so from the kjv we're going to zoom in on this particular area right here, here, here. One law, one commandment, right? Now, it's in the Aliyah, the seventh Aliyah. The seventh Aliyah, the Torah readings and feedings, right, have seven Aliyot. So on the Sabbath day, we have seven up offerings, Aliyot, right? And therefore, the Torah reading and feeding for the Shabua, the Shabua is the strong, right, and Rastafari callings of the weak. You'll call it the weak. Well, keeping in Yahweh, truth and life, the sabbatical strong, the seven days from what you call Sunday to Saturday or from the first day to the seventh day, there are seven Torah readings and feedings, right? Seven, right? Seven. So what we usually do is a chapter or a aliyah a day. As we say, read a chapter a day, we read an aliyah and study an aliyah a day, a section of the Torah reading and feeding the mana, the mana for that Shabuah, that Proverbially speaking, that one loaf of bread or manna, right? The angel's bread. So when we get to the seventh aliyah, right? We have Exodus chapter 24, verse 12, right? Now we like to compare and contrast what we find in the KJV. So we talk about misconceptions. Misconceptions, 10 commandments, misconceptions. I call it 10 commandments, miscon misconceptions. And first misconception is that it's actually Ten Commandments, according to the scripture, according to the Hebrew scripture. And even we'll check with the Ethiopic, right? The Ethiopic and the Royal Amharic, the Book of the Seven Seals. But according to the Masoretic Hebrew, right? According to the Hebrew, the Hebrew refers to what you call and what is called popularly the Ten Commandments as ten words. And we can even submit to you that Ten Commandments is not really even there in the Bible. Even when you think you find it in the KJV version, you're going to find some italicizations, italicization. So whenever you find italics, italics in the KJV, in the, I'll say, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, it's a high, high percentage ratio where wherever you find italics in the King James Version, that's not there. This will help immensely your reading and comprehension of the scripture just to recognize this particular fact. So if you're reading the Bible, the King James Version of the Bible, a better copy of it, you know, that have the italicizations, italics here or there, and you see those italics, words in italics. Could we have, we've seen people argue over the italics and then we just kind of SMH, like, wow, because the italics are not even there. So they're actually arguing over what's just their imagination, but not just their imagination, but the translator has put that there and nobody, not even the pastor, the preacher, the bishop, even in Bible study, has not even told most of the Christians when they read in the KJV, King James only, Bible, that the italics are not even there in the Hebrew. And this ma makes tremendous, um, how can we say, there is a big difference, just a big, big, big difference. All right. So here, misconception, just to address this right here, we got to ride up the podcast, the Rastafari podcast here, here, here. We're at the, the fourth day of the Shabuah, the middle of the Shabuah right here. You know, the Arbi'i, Arbi'i, the, the, the fourth right day of the Shabuah, a.k.a. Wednesday. We have a podcast. We call it um, Wednesday Wisdom, Wednesday Wisdom. Wisdom Wednesday, check it out, check it out, check it out in the descriptions. If when we podcast might be a little bit late for some ones and ones, because you know, all over this earthly plane, Earth is a is a plane, not a planet, as far as the flat flat. Well, we don't think that the earth is flat flat in that sense, neither do we think it's a globe globe. But that's a whole other matter right there. It is a plane, and on this plane of consciousness right here, 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 let's address this subject matter right here. Is it Ten Commandments? Well, it's understandable how it's thought to be Ten Commandments for 400 plus years. We've heard it's Ten Commandments in the Western Gentile world, right in the translated <laughs> or mistranslated world where the misconceptions come in. But why is it important that it's actually Ten Words and not Ten Commandments? What's the difference of looking at it as being Ten Words instead of Ten Commandments. Is there a big difference? So misconception one. 
10 words, the 10 words, right? The 10 words equal one commandment. The 10 words equal one commandment. That's our point right there. It's not 10 commandments, it's 10 words. And the 10 words instead of 10 commandments is one command. It's one command. And our proof, our proof is the Hebrew scriptures. Our proof is the Masoretic, the Tanakh. We're going to go in the scripture and going to prove it. It's in the seventh Aliyah here for this 18th sabbatical study known as, it's known as Mishpatim. Even there, we look in the Hebrew, we have the definite article has been dropped. The definite article is Ha, Ha. Ha, 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 mishpatim. As when we say, ha Elohim, the true power, the true Hebrew God powers. Ha Elohim. It's ha mishpatim. It's the judgments. Not just judgments, but the judgment. So the definite article matters. All right, so let's bring this up right here, here, here. Right, so here for mishpatim and here in addressing... Ten Commandments, Ten Commandments Misconceptions. Maybe we'll call it KJV, King James Version, Misconceptions, so people can get it, right? It's that it's one law and one commandment. Now, we have to define these words Hebraically because law in English is not necessarily law in the Hebrew. Commandment in English is not necessarily commandment, what the word means. Because sometimes we find that there's a few different words that are translated into English by one word in English, but in the language it's translated from, for example, in the Yehudit or the, the Ibrit in the Hebrew, it's a few different words. So each different particular word for the same thing in English is not necessarily the same thing, but it's just a way of giving those in lost in translation a kind of a general sort of a, like a idea of what's being said, right? That might be good for the Gentiles, but it's not good for call Yisrael. <laughs> it's not good for I and I. It might be good for them, right? For white Anglo-Saxon Protestant Christian, it might be good for them, right? When we look at the true context from the Brit Shashana to the Brit Chadasha, including, of course, the 400 years between Malachi and Matthew, right? But here in Shemot, what Exodus is referred to, Exodus, the second book of Moshe, Hebrew book that's called Exodus, is actually in the Hebrew Shemot. Shemot means the names, so names matter. So here it says, and the, we don't like to go through the L-O-R-D, because that's the, that's a Gentile, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant tetragrammaton. Instead it's Yahweh, hey, Yahweh, right? He who be, who he be, Hakadosh, Baruch Baruch Hashem, the Holy One, blessed be he, blessed be the name. And Jehovah said to Moshe, come up to me into the mount and be there and be there. Mom of the tune, I'll be there, right? And be there. And I will give the tables, KJV says, or tablets of stone. Tablets, tables of stone. And a law. I want you to pay attention to where it says, you see where it says a, a, not the or the, but it says a law, right? KJV. A law and commandments. It says which, or more correctly, that I have written that thou mayest teach that thou mayest teach them right a few keys l-o-r-d is the white anglo-saxon protestant gentile tetragrammaton or holy name for us is y-h-w-h yahweh right and when it says unto un means not so we read it as and jehovah said to moshe to moses right and you can strike that which right there that i have written that thou mayest teach them. So let's go to the Hebrew right here. Here, here, here. Let's get to the Hebrew right here. Let's go down to the Tanakh. Right? The Tanakh. Right? So here we got the Tanakh. Right? Here we got the Tanakh. Right? Here's the verse right here. Wayomer Yahuwah el Moshe. Elay. Elay. Ha hara. Wehye sham. We etna. Lika eta lochota ha eben we ha torah we ha mitzwa asher ka tabti le horotam. That's the fuller verse right there from the Tanakh. Now, here's the key that we're going to zoom in on, right? Let's zoom in on it right here, 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 here. This is the epicenter, 
all right this whether we have highlighted it says we ha torah we ha mitzwa we ha mitzwa we ha torah we ha mitzwa now correctly translated into the english that would be and the torah and the torah we ha torah and the commandment not mitzot mitzvot but it's mitzvah, mitzvah, or mitzvah. Modern Hebrew, mitzvah, mitzvah. Veha mitzvah, veha mitzvah. But ancient pointing, Afro-Semitic pointing, weha mitzvah. So here, these two words that are highlighted right here, it says, and the Torah. Not a Torah. It doesn't say with Torah. If it said with Torah, it would be and a Torah, and a direction, instruction, or in the translation, a law. But it says weha Torah and the Torah with ha mitzvah and the commandment and the commandment right the commandment so now when we look at the English let's go up here and look at the English right here we can look at the English right here you see where it says and a law you see what says and a law this is an incorrect translation so you have ones and ones says that, you know, that the English translation is as good as some even are really loony and delusional. They'll say it's even better than the Hebrew. Maybe for them. Maybe for them it's better than. Maybe for the Gentile mind, right, it's better than, right? But it's not really better than in truth. That's a delusion, right? Remember it says, speak to the B'nai Yisrael. Are they children, sons of Israel? Right, we the once lost, now found, black and brown sheep of the Beit Yisrael. We the black Jews of the line of the tribe of Judah are explaining these things to the eye. Notice, ones and ones are going to have all sort of mixed up moods and attitudes over this, but it's very plain. I'm trying to keep this as simple and direct as possible. It says, and not a law, but and the, and the Torah, and the Torah, and you see what it says, commandments. That's the first error. When it says a law, this is erroneous we just proved it to you it says ha ha all right let's go down here right here again and just show this to you right here let's let's go down to the okay let's bring it out like this right here let's let's with a with the strong's words right there okay so here here we go right here you see that's the whole you can say word with the conjunction with the definite article with ha torah right so right here let's go right here let's see if we can Let's see if we can try to um, just highlight. Okay, see, right there what we highlight is wiha, the wi, reading from right to left. For the two dots under it is the wi, wi, wi. And then the next one reading from right to left is ha. The one that's not highlighted is Torah. If it just had, if it just had this letter right here, let's, see, let's go right here, let's go right here. Now this is ha Torah. This is the Torah. You see what's highlighted? Ha Torah. If we go like this right here, let's see if we can do this like this. This is a, a little difficult to, as you can see, the screen moving over. Right, the screen is moving over right here. So let's let, let's do this right. You see what it says Torah, Torah. Adding a definite article will be Ha Torah, H A Torah, Ha Torah. Right, Torah, Law, Direction, Instruction. Right, Law, Direction, Instruction. Can go through this right here. Let's get to the Strong's root. Precept a statute, especially the Decalogue. Decalogue. Look at the word Decalogue. Decalogue literally means ten words. Look it up. Decalogue from the Koine Greek. Deca. Deca. Ten. Deca. Logos. Logos. Logia. Deca. Logia. Decalogue. Ten words. So even in the Koine Greek, it's ten words. But somehow this is getting confused. See, it's important to understand that there are commandments. Right? But this right here is the commandment. Right? The commandment. Pentateuch means the five volumes. We have Bereshith. We have Shemot. We have Wayikra. We have Bamidbar. And we have Debarim. The ten Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Right? And overall, that is also known as Torah. In other words, overall, we can say the five books of Moshe is called Torah because, right, when we get to the root of it, it comes from Yara. Yara means to throw, to shoot, to cast, to pour, but getting down to its direct, it means, you see, properly to flow as water. That is rain, to flow. So teaching must flow, right? It's always like to lay and throw an arrow, to shoot. 
in the figurative sense is the figurative sense of the word that really brings out the true sense of Torah and that is to point out as if by aiming a finger to teach right to teach right in the sense of like an archer shoots an arrow cast direct and form instruct lay shoot shoot right respect the shata right respect the true tuta right shoot to teach teacher teaching to be what thorough thorough right thorough some say we repeat some things it's only for thor thorality so to speak but here 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 let's bring this out so you see what it says and commandments notice we only highlighted the commandment because that's correct this is it should be and the torah and the law and the commandment the law and the commandment note that yahweh yah yahweh hey hak adosh baruch baruch hashem hashem is going to write them on the two tablets the two tables what is written on the two tables the 10 words so the 10 words according to the hebrew is ha torah and is ha mitzvah ha mitzvah my mitzvah here they have mitzvah but in the ancient afro-semitic mitzvah commandment in the singular in the singularity and as a part of speech just to note this as well is feminine so people talking about all oh, the Hebrews we're against the feminine no when we grow in grace we understand the divine double helix and why he created man in his image after his likeness and male and female he created them right so here the command you see what it has this right here we can get to the root for sawa sawa modern Hebrew sawa but really the ancient pointing Afro Semitic sawa sawa right in the European we say in the in the Ashkenazi, some of their mother tongue, they say it the way they say it, but the ancient pointing is what it is, and we can go through a whole proof on that right there. But true people speak differently, and we speak Afro-Semitically. So a primitive root intensively to constitute, to enjoin, to appoint, to bid, to charge, to command, so forth and so on. But the, the idea, the, the root idea right here is command, to command, to give charge, to give orders, to lay charge, to give charge and to order, right? So here, here, here is very clear as we look at the Hebrew, right? Just to prove that it's actually the 10 words. Once again, right here, let's go down here and let's bring this up right here where we were right here. So we have this right here. Let's, um, let's do it like this so that you can see both of them once again, right? So here, we'll zoom in on this. Let's go right here. Let's see if we can. I see. I'm trying to highlight this because sometimes highlighting from Hebrew is is kind of interesting because of the directionality. Okay. 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 Well, let's go up here. Let's go up here. We can scroll down there in case we need to get into the, you know, showing the verse. Okay. Here we have with ha Torah. Reading from right to left. We and ha Torah. And ha the Torah. We ha mitzvah. As you said, mitzvah is singular. Mitzot or mitzvot, right? Mitzot is plural. So it doesn't say, as the KJV says, a law. That's very significant. Whether it's a man or the man, or whether it's it's woman or man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's the. The is a, is a key. So the key translation here is the the ten words is one commandment as a little outro right here let's just do this right here as a little outro right here let's do this right here let's write ten i know some will say you're saying that ten commandments is wrong i'm saying that it's the western gentile way of looking at it notice right here we put ten commandments right note what it says right there you see right there people say ah oh, got you yadin is wrong yadin is wrong no you're delusional. You're delusional. You're, so, you're too quick to condemn, you know, your brother or one who is seeking to be a right, a right man, you know, and bring forward the right knowledge. Because here, 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 that's why we left open the, the um, strong concordance, right? Let's look at 10. 10 is Eser and Asra. Asra. Eseret Asra. As we have in the Amharic, Asertun Kalat. Asertun Ten Kalat. Words, Eseret Hadibarim in the Hebrew. So it's very clear right there, that's 10. That's 10. 
my tent as accumulation to extend to the extent of the digits so almost like all your fingers is the idea right there all right boom so that's 10 so 10 is 10 people say there's 10 commandments well let's look at the next word h1697 the bar our point the bar now we showed you the word mitzvah mitzvah or mitzvah you can rewind the video you can see mitzvah mitzvah Right? And you can clearly see that that means commandment. And the word debar, as in debarim, the words, or the fifth book of Moses, debar, here we have debar, word or speech, word, speaking things, speech, saying, utterance, different contexts. It can be a word like, like, like business, occupation, like somebody say, what's the word, what's the matter, the case, something, the manner of something, boom, right here. A word, by implication, a matter, something that is spoken of. What's the word, yo? What's the word? What is the matter that's spoken of and what's the words that's spoken? Right? What's the thing? What, what's the thing? What it be like? Right? What's the word? What's the word? What's the cause? The cause, the act, the advice, the fear, the answer, so forth and so on. Some of the different senses that it has been used in. It's a very interesting word right here, but we're just dealing with the plain, you know, the plain sense of it. And note that the word is noun masculine. Remember how we showed you that the commandment was feminine in that sense? Here we have what? Also the Torah. The Torah also is she. It says in Proverbs chapter 1 verse 8, it says, Hear, my son, my disciple, hear the instruction of thy father, forsake not the law of thy mother. Right? So this is very significant from the Hebrew way. We get past all this isms and sex isms and schism when we study to show ourselves approved. The, problem or the challenge that we've already been infected with 400 years of counterfeit Christianity, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, loss in translationisms and schism. So right here is once again a proof that yes, in the translation of Exodus 34 and 28, it says the Ten Commandments. However, in the Hebrew, just to use one, one proof positive and every other place, it is the same as well. Right here, uh, let's go to this part right here. Um, let's see right here. We'll, we'll deal with from this part of the phrase right here. Right? We're going to deal with this whole part of the phrase, the last part of the phrase right here. Where it says, Wa yikotov, wa yikotov, wa and yikotov, right? And he wrote al ha luchot, al upon ha the luchot, the tables, the tablets, ha luchot, et divrei et divrei divrei the words of ha berit ha berit the words of the covenant esaret ha debarim esaret ha debarim now let's tighten up the focus right here right let's tighten up to these these one two four words where it says divrei divrei means the words of reading from right to left just for ones seeking to get in studying divrei divrei words of ha Ha, next word, ha, ha, the, berit. Berit is covenant. Berit is covenant. Eseret, aseret, eseret. Right, the third word reading from the right hand side, eseret, is ten. Ha, debarim. The last word is ha, debarim. Debarim. Notice it's ha, the, debarim, the words. Eseret, ten, ha, debarim, the ten words. Dibre. Dibre, the words ha berit, the words of the covenant, esaret ha debarim. So the words of the covenant are those ten words. The words of the covenant are the ten words. And so once again, bring us right here, here, here to the ten words. And you see right here on the screen, you see there's the ten words. My, the ten words. Of course, reading the Hebrew from right to left. The ten words right here. So hopefully this helps to clear up at least one of the misconceptions. Now, yes, the translator has translated what His Majesty, Garamawi Negus and Neges, Garamawi Hala Selassie, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, Hala Selassie I says, my advice to all is to fulfill the Ten Commandments. In his Bible, we have the Asertun Kalat, which equals the Esaret de Barim which equals the ten words the so word up by right? these ten words and notice this is the teaching of his majesty this is the real teaching of his majesty so all those rastas rasta curious and those who call themselves rastafari that contradict this are contradicting i and i our namesake right and contradicting the namesake 
But ain't nothing new under the sun. I mean, what Babylon feel like? Rastafari, I and I, black and brown sheep over here and this descendancy from 400 years are Israelites. So as we go through the narrative, we see how Israelites, we know the psychology of the Israelites. The Torah shows us our psychology, right? So it doesn't surprise us that we even have some of the Rastas and others nowadays contradicting the teaching of his majesty and big time rosters that big platforms contradicting straight away the teaching of his majesty right and we wonder why the movement right seems to be stagnated or in a state of inertia or moving zigzaggy or the ups and down mix up the moods and attitudes all these things and here 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 but give us the teaching of his majesty scripture says in, in the book of judah yehuda we are to contend earnestly for the faith that was once delivered to the saints, to the called set apart ones. Yes, I. New name, precious name, Rastafari. Yes, I. So right here, 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 going to build on some more of the misconceptions. There's, there's some other misconception of the Ten Commandments. This one right here, the Ten Commandments, right? Ten words equals one commandment one commandment and zooming in right here 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 on exodus chapter 24 verse 12 yes i chabarim this is your wendem my chaber my chaber my yes ras i adonis tafari yadin hebrew yadin yes i ras tafari loj loj society lion of judah society of his majesty so link I and I on the line of Judah LOJ social. Check out the likes, the shares, of course, in the description. Links right there, there, there for more. Going to follow up some more. Also catch the podcast, right, live. Also catch it on demand. If I get to miss it, you know, at least by the next, before the next day, one can check out the replay. Yes, I. Rastafari. Shalom, Chabarim. Shalom.